What is going on guys and welcome to this tutorial series. In the first couple of videos we will be painting and designing this awesome AK-47 and then after that we are going to chop it up and create a drag and drop interface with JavaScript and HTML. This first video right here is going to be for complete beginners so we are going to talk about research and gathering materials. So if you guys are just interested in the painting process skip and go to the next video all right so buckle up stick around and let's do it all right you guys let's jump straight into it now first things first i don't want you guys to be discouraged by the way this picture looks uh i'm assuming that everybody out there is a beginner so uh, I don't want you guys to look at this and say, oh my God, this looks awesome. You know, there's no way I can do this. I'm not an artist, blah, blah, blah. No, actually, uh, you can do it. And if you just uh, follow my steps, take a deep breath and listen to what I'm saying, I promise you, you guys are going to build this and something even better than this. So stick around. It is extremely important that you guys plan this project otherwise you are going to absolutely fail so we are going to start with an idea what's the idea we want to make a post apocalyptic looking kind of ak-47 okay cool what's the next step we are going to jump on the internet and go look for some pictures to inspire us so now i'm just going to click here and we are going to jump to the internet and we are going to type uh post apocalyptic ak-47 cool uh we're gonna go into images and i'll give you a tip if you click on tools click on size large it makes sure that you get uh, a high resolution pictures see they're 1920 by 1080 so those are nice resolutions so we are gonna browse okay this one's not looking good uh, this one's too small okay this one looks cool i see some nice elements here and uh this one looks cool too and um uh, okay this one's terrible so the idea guys is to get inspired and i mean inspired by anything like this if this inspires you you know save it make a little folder and save all your pictures in it uh let's see so this is basically what you're going to do in this step and take your time guys if this is going to take a day an hour 30 minutes do whatever it takes to make you comfortable because at the next step you are going to start to uh, brainstorm your ideas so i have actually downloaded a bunch of those images and i am going to go over them with you right now okay so you guys did your research you downloaded a bunch of images stuff that looks interesting it looks cool you know something that piqued your interest and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at him and see what's going on. Try to brainstorm some ideas. Uh, see what actually makes a post-apocalyptic AK-47. Like what are the design patterns that make it look uh, like it came out from the post-apocalypse basically. So uh, flipping through this image, you know, I see I like this stuff right here. And uh, my brush is really bad, you guys. Sorry about that and i'm going to make it black so you guys can see there you go okay so i like this wooden handle right here this looks cool you know and they got the scratches on it and stuff that looks cool you got some wrapping here you know there's all kinds of rust going on the gun there's wrapping on the handle the handle is wooden itself this is rusted there's like blood and wrapping and stuff like that here's more wrapping another wooden part right here for the handle you got a little smiley face decal here that looks sweet you got some blue you know whatever uh, tape or electrical tape um oh this is nice man look at this guys <laughs> they got the shovel handle in there i like this idea you know what i'm gonna use this check and this is basically what we're gonna do you are going to research gather those ideas and we're going to implement them soon so uh, what makes a post-apocalyptic gun i guess wooden handles a shovel handle i guess with like you know like chipped out worn out paint a lot of wrapping you see that okay so i like that wrapping uh some wood maybe some rust uh a shovel handle 100 percent okay 
Next, what's this image? Let's check this image out. Okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Again, a lot of duct tape, wrapping stuff, metal parts. This guy actually put a screwdriver in here that looks cool for the cocking mechanism, I guess, if that's what you call it. Oh, you got the little, um, the little rainbow stainless steel titanium tip right here. That looks awesome. There's a lot of wrapping going on. I guess this is some kind of bone or I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a, oh, it's actually a swordfish nose. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> How awesome is that? Anyways, so that's it, basically. The idea is just to get inspired, you know, and store all these ideas into your head. And uh, so when you go to the next step, which is basically a very, you know, basic sketch, you guys know exactly what you're doing. It's not like you're jumping into this project blindfolded. Okay, so what do we like from here? Actually, the whole thing is cool, but I mean, nothing impressed me so far from here. I don't think I'm going to go with this kind of titanium tape. I don't want to do like any bones or extra stuff. But again, if you guys, if you really like, if this really inspired you right here, sure, throw it in. You know, if this little metal piece inspired you and you want to throw it on your gun, sure, go ahead. If this little dial red thing you i guess it's from an oven or some kind of valve or something if that inspired you throw it in you know uh let's see moving on next what do we have here okay now this is cool okay right away right away right away the first thing i see right here the handle bike handle boom i like the idea i'm gonna use this idea and it's right here you see it's a grip from like a bike or something and we're going to replace the handle of the gun with a grip like that i like that that's a nice idea what else uh other than the grip i don't think i'm gonna use any of that let's jump into this image now even though this is not an ak you know but you can still get inspired from anything you guys even if you look at like a a picture of an old fridge whatever inspires you the ideas just pop in oh i love the little skull right here that looks awesome uh i love this part right here so in our ak-47 i know there's a wooden part so maybe we can use this idea right here but instead of what is this like a shell a turtle shell so instead of this maybe we can use some different animal we'll see i like this idea that's cool we'll use that uh, more duct tape, strings, wires, you know, clips, stuff like that. This is all awesome and nice. Let's look at this one. Oh, this one's pretty awesome, actually. They got the little... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually a beer can <laughs> made into a muzzle. So that is actually a cool idea. I am going to use this idea. Sweet. Now, I know this is a flamethrower, but... The muzzle kind of muffler kind of thingy we're gonna use that we'll we'll spin it off later on we'll see what happens again you got the bike handle here with the wires and stuff this looks awesome you know you got the little uh your typical garden hose you know shut off valve or whatever the hell you guys call this stuff this is cool by the way this artist his name is nick jindro i actually took classes with him over here in uh, california in burbank at rainstorm school he, uh, he's actually one of the best in the industry i don't know if you guys played the last of us but this is the actual flamethrower design from the last of us so he made this design he actually worked uh works with naughty dog uh he worked on the last of us he worked on uncharted it's really really super talented guy and super friendly too i took a few classes with him so i don't know just thought that i would mention this Okay, so uh, you guys, once we got inspired, we got some ideas, the next step is to actually sketch something, sketch some ideas. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, you guys, so we did our brainstorming so far. Uh, we collected some ideas from different photos. Um, we kind of have an idea of what we're going to do. And now it is time to do a quick sketch. But before we actually do the sketch, uh, we need to find the hero image, which is basically the image that we are going to use to base all this stuff on top of. So what we are going to do is we are going to jump to Google and we are going to type AK-47. 
And again, uh, we're going to click on tools, size. And this time, instead of doing large, we are going to do larger than, and then you can actually download even bigger images like 2000 by 1000, let's say. So that's the largest you can probably find. And what we are going to do is we are going to find the main image that we are going to sketch on top of. Now, don't get discouraged, you guys, because I actually am going to provide you the images that I used for this tutorial. So if you don't want to do this step, you can just skip ahead a little bit and you can actually start painting. But if you want to learn uh, how to do this on your own, maybe you want to use a different gun. Uh, then you're going to want to stay tuned to this uh, step. So uh, we are going to just give it a quick look. And the main idea is to find a gun that is in the right perspective, which is basically flat. Something like this is what we're looking for. And if just by a quick scroll down, you can't see any images. That means um, most probably you're not going to find it in a 4 MP. So let's try 2MP. We can always scale it down a little bit and see what we can find. And there you go. Now it's starting to get more results. Uh, this looks okay. We can get some results from here. Uh, let's actually do large, see what happens. And we are getting more, much more images. Okay. So let me show you the trick about finding your hero image. Now, obviously, it has to be large enough. Uh, that depends on your design. But I would go with something around the 1900. That's cool for a design like this. Now, the most, the most important thing is it has to be flat. And by flat, I mean exactly like this. Now, if it's in a different position like this, see now it's angled to the top. That means that you're just going to do a lot of work. Uh, so I would suggest even like something like this. You see this angle, it's kind of like pointing out. It's like pointing towards you. Uh, you want to avoid pictures like this, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, you want uh, to give the odds to yourself so you can actually succeed in doing this image. So stay away from everything, anything complicated. Just stay with flat pictures just like that. So you can easily find uh, the, the other parts and you can... Um, you know, drop them in here, blend the images together and start painting on top of them. So uh, let's avoid complicated pictures like this, where it's pointing outside, inside, it's sitting on its side, it's doing weird angles. And let's look for straight, clean images. Now, this one is good in terms of the position. The lighting is pretty good. You know, it's not too bright. It's not too dark. This is a good candidate. If you wanted to use this picture, go ahead. This one's pretty good. Now, let's look at this one. Now, this one's too small. I'm not even going to bother. Let's look at something maybe bigger. Here, this one's large enough. This one's nice. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't use this image because it's a little bit blurry, which means you're going to have to do a lot of work on top of it. And then the second thing is, if I don't know if you guys can see, but this is actually cartoonish it's like it's painted or something and I, I don't I'm not going for that look at all I want something that's more realistic so I wouldn't use an image like this uh, let's see pitfalls pitfalls obviously we're not gonna use an image like this because half of the gun is not showing so I don't know this uh, uh, if I have to mention it but you know it's always better to cover all the the cases uh, for all you beginners out there Let's see, uh, angles, stay away. You want flat. Flat, good lighting, so you don't have to do a lot of work on top of it. Let's look at this one. This one's good, but just the colors on it, I don't like it. It doesn't look too nice. And then this is too bright right here. It looks like it's plasticky. I don't like it. I wouldn't use it. Again, you want to minimize the work that you want to do on top of the image. You want the image to be as ready as possible. This one's just not opening. Uh, now this one's pretty good you see it's flat nice lighting which means if i start painting on top of this picture i'm not going to put a lot of effort for example if i wanted to take this word out i can just pick the color from here start painting it's going to look good even though this is a toy you can see it right here we can still make this look pretty cool actually so this is a good candidate uh let's see what else uh, 
other pitfalls you guys might uh, fall into let me see let's look at other images okay here's one that's one looks like a PNG you're gonna be like oh this is awesome I don't have to cut it um, I wouldn't use this image first of all is it in the right angle yeah is it clean yes can you work on top of it absolutely you can but if you're a beginner be very careful with the picture that you choose you see this is plastic right here and you can obviously tell it is plastic now on the AK obviously you know it's wooden now even though we're gonna cover it we're gonna paint on top of it this is gonna give you trouble later on you really have to be experienced in order to know what you're doing to make it look even halfway decent so I wouldn't use anything like this Again, you want to choose an image that is as ready as possible. So, now, enough of me blabbing and going on uh, Google. Let me show you the image that we are going to use. So, I'm going to turn this layer off. And this is the image that we are actually going to be working on top of. Let me zoom in and show you why I picked this image. And you can go away. And we can, let me get the brush and here's my brush cool now if you look at this image obviously it's large enough it is flat no weird angles the lighting is beautiful on this image it is actually the most realistic AK that I could find look at the wood it's actually real the handle looks real all these free textures that I'm getting, the scratches, the dents, you know, some rust. This is all free. I don't have to add it. It's there already built in. Now look at the handle. Did you, did you guys notice the difference between this handle and the other one? That was just completely plastic. This one is much more realistic. Even though this is like, looks like a blend between some painting and uh, a real photo. This is actually, this is the style that I'm going for at the end. So this is the picture that I would choose. Now once... You have found your hero image, you guys. You can proceed to the next step. Especially if you're doing your own gun. Please do not go to the next step unless you have this photo for your gun. Obviously, if you're following my tutorial, then just download this and start from here. But the reason I'm telling you, again, is because it's going to get relatively complicated from here and i don't want you guys to be discouraged and i don't want you guys to fail um you know i've been doing this for years now 10 years over 10 years actually and till this day i get super excited you know i just go download the first image that i see start working on it looks like crap and i end up quitting so i don't want you guys to fall into this just take your time find the right picture if it makes sense to you especially if you're a beginner if it makes sense it's like this it's clean uh lighting looks okay it's not too bright it's not too dark then it's good to go okay guys perfect now we have the actual hero image now it is time to bring those ideas that we brainstormed into life let's see now uh i don't expect you guys to be like great illustrators or artists by all means this is for beginners so we're going to keep it very simple actually we are just going to transfer our ideas onto this sheet so we know what we're going to do so remember we saw the clip and from our designs there was a lot of wrappings so what i want to do is i want to definitely put some wrapping on the banana clip or the clip itself uh the grip remember we were going to put the bike grip and that's all we're doing. We're just laying it out. We're just making a plan. That's it. Uh, the handle right here. Uh, it was from a shovel. Shovel handle. Uh, over here, we're going to put like chips, uh, dents, paint. Uh, this grip, uh, we're going to wrap it with animal skin, remember? Uh, we liked the uh, turtle shell that was over here, but we're going to put it with some other um, animal skin. And remember, we talked about the beer can muzzle, but instead of the beer can, maybe I'm going to do something like an oil filter, uh, which seems like a good idea. And I've seen it actually in a few other designs. So we'll do oil filter. And then what else we're going to need? Uh, we covered pretty much all the gun. We might need some extra decals. 
Uh, we might need some rust. What else? Um, yeah, decals, rust. This is pretty much it, guys. So I, I bet you, you thought we are actually going to sketch and you were like, oh my God, I don't know how to sketch. What the hell am I going to do? No, actually, this is all that we're going to do. This tutorial is for beginners, you guys. I promise you, we are going to build the design that you saw in the beginning from scratch. And you're going to follow me. And we're going to paint and we're going to photo bash and we're going to make something really awesome. You're going to be surprised that you actually came out with the same result as I did. Anyways. So here's our basic brainstorm. This is our AK. We got the ideas right now. We feel very comfortable. We feel very confident. We have our base. The base is ready. Guess what's next? We are going to Google again and we are going to find these pictures. We are going to look for a bike grip. We're going to look for a shovel handle, some wrapping, some decals, rust, an oil filter, animal skin, all that stuff. And again, we are going to look at them with the same criteria that we found for this picture. So for example, the shovel handle, let me just do this real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So let me go, sorry about that. Let's click here, uh, scroll to the top, let's do shovel handle real quick. Image is large, uh, here's one, this looks cool. Again, it's in a weird angle, but we can flip it around. This is not too bad. This works. Uh, let's not pick pictures like this. See, because this is completely in a different angle from our gun. It's going to be a nightmare to actually flip it. It, it actually doesn't work. It's just, it's not in 3D. It's not going to work at all. So I'm going to find a nice picture of a handle. And that's what we're going to do. We can't use this one, obviously, because it's completely a different angle. See? You want it to be flat. So it has to be flat, something like this. And you want it to be uh, large. So this one's 900 by 900, not too, not too big. So maybe we can do tools this time larger than two MP. And we can look for handles. This one won't work. Why? Angle, you see? This one's going in a completely different uh, perspective. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Now, again, the uh, I saved you the trouble of actually downloading all these files. Uh, I mean, going and searching for these files. Um, so you can download them from the link in the description. Uh, but if you're pursuing your own design, you're doing your own gun, maybe like uh, a small gun, like a Glock or like a bazooka or whatever you guys are designing, then go ahead and look for pictures for your uh, actual parts that you brainstormed in this session. And don't forget, you want good lighting, good lighting, not too fake, not too bright, not too dark. The right angle it has to go in the right angle and it has to be the right size, like a big image so we can crop and work with it. Okay. Now, once you have downloaded all the pictures, you have them in a folder, it is actually time, you guys, to do the work. Oh my God, all this preparation just so we can start to paint. Yep, that's that's what it takes, you guys, to make something and actually build it without quitting. You need to plan it. And this is what I'm trying to teach you. If you plan something right, it is extremely hard to fail, even if you're a beginner. It might not come out perfect, but you will actually finish the project and you will feel very proud about what you achieved. And... Um, this is what I'm trying to, you know, distill in your head. I just want you to feel confident. In the next step, we're actually going to start chopping images, blending them together and painting. So don't worry if you don't know how to paint. I'm going to go over everything. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's do this.